are mixing with my career building tip, establish your creative workspace. Uh, recently, I made a move, and in making a move, I had to um, rebuild and reconfigure my studio. And one of the things uh, that um, I found very gratifying was how quickly I was able to pull things together. And so much of this is due to my experience with helping so many other people design their rooms and put their spaces together, actually being there and designing their spaces, picking out the speakers and equipment for them, setting up their creative space, designing it, laying things out, um, working on the acoustics, and making a really creative workspace that that is um, very powerful for that particular person and the way that they work. And one of the things that I found was most important in creating a good work environment for someone was understanding their personality. I wanted to see how they worked, how they created music. Um, so I have some clients that like sort of uncomfortable spaces. And so they want to sit on a really crappy chair that hurts them and they want to have things sort of in their way a little bit, and it brings out a little bit of their anger and their angst, and that helps them to give better performances. And some people want a space that's very comfortable, very relaxed, very laid back. So as they're working, they're kind of getting a little bit more of a relaxed feeling from the environment that they work in. Some people like to be like they go into another world when they create. So when they create, it's like, okay, they want to go into a space where they feel really good. They get their creative juices flowing, and then they're just in another world, and they really block out everything else that's going on. So when they open that door, it's like, oh, my God, light. I haven't seen light in years. Um, that kind of response. So they just go into like almost a hypnotic kind of state. It's really important for you to understand how you work well creative creatively. Some people need very bright spaces in order to focus. Some people need warmer, darker colors to kind of do the things that they want to do. Whatever it is that you want to do and whatever it is that is most appealing to you, you want to create a space, no matter what the size of it is, whatever you have to work with, that feels comfortable and creative to you and um, has the basic sound. Obviously, the sound characteristics are really important, but what I'm talking about is the ergonomics, the layout. Where is, you know, where is your chair situated? Where are the speakers situated? Is that comfortable? If you have a keyboard or some other primary element that you work with, is it conveniently located so that if you're, you know, going to program something, you have your computer to your left, you have the instrument that you play to the right, you spin your chair, you do the performance, you spin back, you, you, you adjust it, <laughs> you know, on the computer. Things like this. Setting it up, and this is something, it's sometimes a process that you just kind of have to work through and play with, but spend a lot of time and really pay attention to getting things to sound the way that you want and to feel really good so that when you sit down, you're never fighting the space that you're working in, okay? You want to minimize distractions, right? So putting things in the space that sometimes it's better to have an environment where you have no other things like no windows, no light. Obviously, you have to have some air coming into the space, but you want to block out and be in another world. I kind of like having a view. I like having, I like being able to look out on something. Um, it makes me, it actually inspires my creative thinking and my ideas when I can look out on something and see something out a window that's, you know, not, you know, changing or distracting me, but is giving me something that is a perspective. Um, on the work that I do. Everybody is different. Create your space according to your own needs and really try to isolate a space if you can. Get a separate room. Really make it, um, you know, your own world. You know, sort of like the mix engineer or producer's, uh, you know, version of, you know, like a, a sports you know, basement, you know, <laughs> you know, like a room where you could go and just be a guy and just kind of hang out and drink beer and spill stuff all over the place and yell and scream and party and have fun with your friends. And, uh, and nobody bothers you about it. <laughs> so the man cave, exactly the man cave. Thank you. So, um, create that for yourself so that as you are working and you're doing your creative things, you can really get into a creative workflow without distractions and uh, do what you love to do. That's our Mixing with Mike career building tip. Establish your creative workspace.